What's up guys, it's Raph and the Raph Cave and welcome back to another unboxing. This here is on the Steel Series Arctis Pro with DAC this time. This here is high res certified, basically supercharging the Steel Series Arctis Pro headset to make it sound incredible. Now I've had the wireless version of this, which you can check out my video of. I love those. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't have a DAC. It had basically a wireless transmitter, and it didn't have the RGB lights, which I really like when I'm streaming uh, on my channel. So I'll sacrifice the wireless and sacrifice that Bluetooth ability to get a true high-res DAC for higher-end performance and a cool LED. And... A nice cord going to the DAC is fine because I'm pretty much just in this area doing my thing. So I don't really walk around the basement uh, that much. So with that being said, these are kick-ass. Won ton of awards. Steel Series is highly regarded as the best gaming headsets in my short time with the wireless version. Super, super comfortable. And I really, truly like that ski uh, ski band that goes on top to isolate the uh, aluminum headband from resting on the top of my head that way it's suspended up so even less fatigue on top of your head so more hours of enjoyment without any stress and soreness fantastic guys all right without further ado let's get this unboxed see what's inside hook it up to the pc and do a, a short mic test and go from there all right welcome to the channel i'm raf home theater inspiration videos unboxings trailer reactions and live video game content on my channel if you're new, smash the like, smash subscribe, and welcome to the Raf Cave Club. Let's get it. All right, guys, here it is. The front of the box. Winner, best high-end gaming headset. Steel Series Arctis Pro with Game DAC high-res audio for PS4 and PC. Dolby Audio with DTX, DTS X Headphone 2.0. Clearcast mic, game chat balance, Airweave fabrics, aluminum steel frame, high-res speakers, tons of awards, RGB lighting with true gaming DAC to bring the absolute best of audio quality to your headset with ESS Sabre chipset built inside, which they put this chipset in high-end home, th home theater receivers, say Denon, Yamaha, Ankyo, Marantz, they use these kind of stuff. So putting that in the gaming headset is pretty phenomenal. Check out the specs, the wires that come with it, the back of the deck itself. I like this mobile input where you can plug in your, your own phone mobile device here, hopefully, to mix in music while gaming, which would be pretty sweet. Amazing uh, audio format, signal to noise ratio, very, very good. Total harmonic distortion, very, very low. An amazing frequency response from 10 hertz to 40,000. It's incredible, guys. Really, really great. All right, let's get this unboxed, see what's inside. You know what time it is, guys. Black pin. There we go. Please be the last headsets for a while. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Ooh. Very, very nice. Just like the wireless version Man, these are just truly an, a work of art. Lightweight, beautiful craftsmanship, amazing cushioned ear cups, large circular ear cups. And I love this suspended ski band right here, guys. This thing floats on top of your head. It's amazing technology, amazing design. You can adjust the straps, which I will right away because uh, I have a big old cranium. Usually go about halfway. And look at the flexibility, guys. No issues for stretching these guys out. No issues at all. They will take it. Awesome. Now, same thing before. We got our microphone mute. Volume plus and minus. Your um, charging port here. 3.5 millimeter analog and of course your mic which is retractable comes out like that bendable very cool 
and that's it guys and then of course these uh, are magnetic and that's what uh, covers up the uh, RGB lighting all right and here is the brains of the operation the DAC on the back here you're gonna have your mobile input your line out USB and optical input this is going to be the uh, headphone connection oh it's a headphone connection yeah so that'll plug into your, to your headset and of course the back button your uh, left and right and click inward to go through the different screens and here's going to be all of the cords Okay. Do you love these headsets? Yes, I will. Instruction guide. This is your windscreen for the uh, microphone. This is an optical cable underneath. This is a USB audio cable, so this will go to the computer. Mobile adapter. Hmm, interesting. Looks like this is the proprietary cable. So you got to take care of this cable, guys. Don't want to mess this up. Focus in there. Main headset cable. This is a very, very important cable. You're not really easily uh, swappable. And then this goes to the computer. Sweet. Those are your cables, guys. All right, let's get this hooked up on the computer and see what it looks like when it's turned on. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing you're greeted with when you plug it into your PC is a uh, hi, let's get started. You can turn my dial now. First, the basics. Turning my dial will adjust your volume level. Okay, pressing my dial will switch to, to chat mix. Okay, turning my dial now will control the chat balance. Pressing my uh, dial again will take you back to volume. Pretty easy, huh? This is where it gets fun. Pressing and holding my dial will make you enter the dungeon. One, two. Okay. Okay, let's just get to a menu. Turning my dial will navigate to the menus. Pressing my dial will select. Pressing my small button is where it takes you back. This is where you make uh, adjustments like a playback mode, EQ more. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Are you located in the EU? If yes, max volume will be restricted. No. What did you detect me to? PC? Uh, PC. All right, you're all set up. Good luck, have fun. GLHF. All right, so it says PC. All right, there's the volume. We got the chat game mix in the middle. Right now it's at 40, uh, 48 kilohertz, 16 bit. DTS is off. Oh, that's back and forth. Chat mix volume. If I hold it in two seconds, there's the audio. Input, output, display, illumination, about, okay. Audio. DTS X headphone. Um, we want that on. EQ, flat, bass boost, reference, smiley, custom. Uh, I'm going to try uh, uh, reference, I guess. Keep it neutral or flat. Eh, let's go reference for now. All right, gain is high. Low, high. Let's keep it high. Side tone, low. That's when you can uh, hear yourself talk. Uh, I'm going to turn that uh, off. Mic volume. 10 is max. I guess 8 is good. All right, input. So now we get to choose if we're going to do high res audio or P just PC. Output. Line out mode, speakers or stream mix. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Display, brightness at uh, 
I want good full brightness. I want to crank this thing. Uh, idle timeout. Let's go five minutes. Illumination. It's better grab the headsets. Illumination. So right now it's in the rainbow setting. We got heat orange, frost blue, orange, red, yellow, blue, green, purple. That's where you're staying. Uh, mic mute red. Sounds good. If it's red, it's muted. Perfect. And then about firmware version is there. And then factory reset. All right. There it is, guys. DTS is on. We're in the main uh, PC mode. So if you want to listen to any um, high res music, then we got to switch it to the input and go to high res mode and then listen to music that way. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to flip on to the PC and then we can hit, uh, install the software and you can see what I look like with them on. All right, be right back. Okay, guys. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to that website. Uh, SteelSeries.com um, engine and download the uh, engine software and once you pop it up for the first time it'll give you the Arctic Pro Plus Game Deck and there's two installations that are critical. Uh, critical update install the new firmware which we definitely want to do and that'll update the DAC, update the headphones and then uh, there's an additional software that's required as well so we want to do that also. And that's the first thing you guys want to do before you even use the headset is download the Steel Series software, update the firmware. That was easy, perfect. And then make sure you're getting the absolute best performance from your new headset. Okay, so once we got the, everything downloaded, let's uh, see what this gear is about. Nope. So let's click on this guy. All right, pull up. The device configurations. There it is. All right, DTSX is on. We are using reference right now. There's quite a few extra presets here. We're just going to do reference for now. Gain is high, output is speakers, of course. Mic volume. Side tone, okay. There's our illumination, which we already did. And the settings, five minutes for the screen to turn off. Brightness is on max. So pretty much everything we've done inside the DAC is already here. But that's good. So we downloaded all the software. Everything's running smoothly. Yep, looking good. All right, guys, so this is the first time again we're putting on the headphones. We adjusted the strap to about halfway of the, the total um, larger size there. All right, guys, here we go. So good. It is so good. You guys see the gap, right? The floating headband. Now the cable that comes with it uh, between the DAC and your headset is probably only, I mean, four feet, maybe four and a half. So I had to put the DAC on the left side of my keyboard. That way it goes to the left side uh, of my head here. So I'm not crossing over my body because I want to kind of be free to do all this stuff. So when you install the DAC, put it on the left side of your keyboard. It's the best spot for it. Maximize the length of your cable. All right, guys. I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play a song real quick. Of uh, uh, let's see. I'll probably go Chris Brown. Uh, real quick song, just to get my immediate reaction. Um, this will be Chris Brown. She ain't you. Okay.
Yes. Bass is great. Vocals are great. Clean highs. And that's just reference mode. I haven't actually tweaked out these headsets fully. So it looks like the volume rocker on the headphones don't adjust the DAC volume. So you probably want to turn the DAC volume about three quarters of the way, and then you can adjust the volume on your headset up and down. Uh, but right now, I look on the DAC screen, and it's got the uh, the left and right volume levels moving around. Pretty awesome. All right, headsets look good. Got the illumination rocking, which I wanted for the streams. And the floating headband. I actually actually make these headsets the band a little bit bigger. So it's pretty simple. Let's do the Velcro thing again. Go down a couple more notches there. Stretch out the band a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. 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 Plenty of volume. Ah, Steel Series are back. Very comfortable, very lightweight, but that top headband is key for long-lasting gaming. Awesome. Uh, let's do a quick mic test. All right. All right. So now I'm speaking to you with the headset mic of the Arctis Pro with DAC. I have the. Uh, Microphone right about level with my mouth there, a couple inches out. So how do I sound? Uh, definitely a big change from the Blue Yeti X, which I have, more professional. But with gaming headsets, you know, you're not going to expect fully uh, amazing studio grade. But if it's halfway decent, then that's a plus. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be chatting with these headphones at all while gaming. Um, because these don't work with uh, Xbox One chat. So I would just be switching headfets, headphones to do the chat. These uh, will just be used as audio only. Unless you are a PC gamer or a PS4 gamer, then you're in luck. You'll be able to chat with these. All right, guys. Hopefully uh, you got a good representation of the open box unboxing uh, of these headphones and uh, setup. Um, I'm going to keep these headphones, guys. I'm not going to get rid of these. I'm going to tweak the EQ. I'm going to make them sound great. Not worry about super thumpy bass. This is plenty of bass for games and enough bass for music. And then we'll get into high-res audio probably later, but I don't even know if I have any high-res audio anyway, so whatevs, but it's already there in the deck. All right, guys, thanks for watching this unboxing. If you like the video, hit that like button. Uh, if, if you're new, subscribe. Welcome to the Raft Cave Club, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Home theater rules. Raph out. See ya.